Have you ever gotten a paper cut but didn't feel pain until after you saw it? Why is that? It's because pain isn't just a physical sensation. Sure, it can feel like throbbing or stinging, but it's also shaped by your thoughts and emotions, like stress, fear, or even just noticing the injury itself. Let's break it down. Specialized sensory neurons in the body called nociceptors detect harmful stimuli and convert them into electrical signals. These signals travel through peripheral nerves where they're processed and either amplified or dampened. Some of these peripheral nerves carry sharp, fast pain, while others carry slow, dull, aching pain. From there, the signals reach the brain where multiple regions work together to interpret them. And only then do we consciously feel pain. But it doesn't stop here. Your brain can also regulate how much pain you feel through descending pain control. It sends messages back down the spinal cord to either turn pain up or down. Areas like the periaqueductal gray release endogenous opioids like endorphins, which are natural painkillers that help alleviate your pain. That's why in high stress moments like a car accident, you might not feel pain right away. Your brain suppresses it so you can escape danger. This same descending pain control system also explains the placebo effect. If you believe something will relieve pain, your brain may activate its own pain relief system. And the reverse of this is actually the nocebo effect, where negative expectations can create real symptoms even from a harmless pill. And what happens in chronic pain is that this normal pain system goes haywire. The brain keeps amplifying pain long after an injury has healed. We're still trying to understand why. So why does pain matter? Pain is the number one reason people seek medical care. Over 1.5 billion people worldwide suffer from chronic pain, but effective treatments remain limited. That's because pain isn't just about damage. It's shaped by many factors like past experiences, environment, emotional state, and even genetics to name a few. That's why ongoing research is so critical. Understanding pain as a brain-based context-sensitive experience opens the door to more effective treatments. So the next time your paper cut hurts only after you notice it, remember, pain isn't just a signal. It's a story your brain tells. And that's why understanding pain is not just a scientific pursuit. It's a deeply human one.